now for 10 years. Before that, I didn't believe in God, I didn't Take believe care. in Jesus, I didn't really know about the gospel Take care, or what it was really about. You'll be okay. Thanks, mate. Just understand but 10 years that you ago, must believe. I came to realise that. All right, mate. All right. Oh, the One, fact is, if I, I died, I'd go to hell. How do you know I'm not? Two, that Jesus loved me so much. Well, you are fine. It's book. too good not the to Bible. be true. Hey, it's great to meet you anyway. So what he did on that it's great cross to meet you. I love meeting you, mate. was too good not to be true. So I cried out to him in faith. If you're happy and you know it's pay your gas bill. If you're happy and you know you know it's pay your I'm now born again. I'm a new, I'm a new person. I'm a new creation. I haven't modified my life. I've been born again. I'm a different person on the inside. It's not all about on the, on the outside. It's changed my heart. It's changed my heart. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. So yeah, I just wanted to share that. And uh, I wanted to also share about the cross. Because we don't preach ourselves. We preach Christ Jesus, our Lord. We preach the cross. We preach Jesus and Him crucified. So I want to really talk more about Him than myself. Because it's, it's really all about Him. Because we're going to be judged one day by whether we have accepted Jesus or rejected Him. The Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. So that's what I urge you to do today, tonight, is to, is to believe. To believe, to cry out to Jesus and whatever situation you are in right now, cry out to Him. I know I'm not preaching to everyone, not everyone is listening, but there's some people who are listening. Jesus died for you. Jesus died for you. He went into a garden before his crucifixion and he was sweating great drops of blood because of the weight of the, of the sins of the whole world were up, uh, upon his shoulders. He was bleeding. He was, his sweat was, was blood. He was sweating blood thinking about the, the pain and the anguish that he would suffer on that cross. He wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't uh, bleeding just because of the, the human sufferings that he would endure, but he was, he was, he was bleeding from the, 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 the awareness of how he would bear the wrath of God. The wrath of God would be poured out upon that cross. The wrath of God was poured out on that cross. So Jesus, he's in the garden, he's sweating. He's saying to his disciples, pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. So they, they actually fell asleep. But he was praying and he was sweating great drops of blood in that garden. And then Judas comes and kisses him. He, he, he gets arrested, he gets taken. And actually his judgment was taken away. There wasn't no fair trial. It, it was taken away from him, the judgment. They were accusing him and it was all false accusations against him. But he, he, he went to that cross because it was foreordained by God that he would suffer. There was a, there was a, a Pharisee that said there will be one man he prophesied that there will be one man that will die for the people that has to be and that man that died was called jesus he he was fulfilling that prophecy right there so he was arrested and it was unfair pilot even said this man there's nothing worthy of death in him nothing and he wanted to release him, but the Jews were crying out, crucify him, crucify him. He was innocent. This man was innocent. And they were crying, crucify him. And then, Pilate scourged. He, he, had, he had Jesus scout scourged. If you don't know what a scourge is, it's a whip. It's like a Roman whip with, with pieces of metal and bone in the whip. So he was whipped so bad that you wouldn't even recognize it was him. 
They, he had him whipped so that the people might actually have mercy on him because, it, because of how much of a state he looked. But they still cried out, crucify him, crucify him. Now it wasn't just the Jews, there was the Romans, everyone had a part in the death of Jesus. Tell me who you are. We were there. there, and I'll tell you when we would have been out, shot, shot out, and out, crucified as well. Uh, if we were there, to, to listen to more, other more. People. So that's what they were okay. crying, crucified every Saturday outside. And yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And this is the fulfillment of Isaiah 53 that said he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace, the chastisement for, for our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, the stripes from the Roman whip, his back was like a ploughed field. There, were, there was no distinguishing between the stripes. It was one big wound on his back. And yet it was a fulfillment of that prophecy by his stripes. We are healed. And then it goes to say, all we like sheep have gone astray. Every one of us, we've gone astray. Can't you see it? Read the newspapers. We've all gone astray. We've, we've, we've turned everyone to his own way. We all, we've, we've, all turned, we've all turned to our own way. But the Lord, God has laid on him the iniquity, the sin of us all. God laid it upon Jesus. The swearing, the blasphemy, the fornication, the lust, the love of money, the sin. All our sins was laid upon him. So that we could know him. So that we could be saved. Do you want to be saved? Are you hearing this word? Do you want to be saved tonight? Hear the word of the Lord. This word, these are the tr this is truth and this is life. Will you hear it? Will you hear the truth? Open your ears.